Hey everybody, this is Richard and I wanted to do just a quick video showing an emerald long day trade that we're in. So you can see that we got in right right in here um, at about 38, actually about 38.64 I believe was our fill. And so we're in that trade. We'll see how the day goes. Um, I'm doing this live. So what I'll do is, is once I'm done talking, I'll keep recording. But when I go back and edit, I'll just speed up the video. There's a good chance that we'll have an option trade soon. And so we're just kind of waiting to see if that happens. Um, in fact, we could have one in about five minutes, but we'll just have to see what happens. And it looks like the market did just pop out of the range that it was in. So that's obviously good news for our long position right now. It's up about $700 and this is traded in both Noble and Paladin. And that's the same with the options algorithm in the top right. The uh, bottom right is the day trade long algo that's traded in um, Geronimo, Paladin, and also Noble. And then the top left is the Momentum S&P. Sometimes I've called it the bullfire over the years, but that's our overnight S&P algo. And it, it actually hasn't had a trade in a few, um, in a few weeks really, but, but it will start trading, especially if the market begins to rally. And so, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and pause the, or I'll stop talking. And what I'll do is I'll keep recording. When I go back and edit, I will speed up the video so that you don't have to sit around and wait all day. So we actually did just get an options trade and you can see it because we get the yellow letters sort of pop up on the screen and um, they're just indicating that we got into a trade. So what we did is we ended up selling the 3880 put and then buying the 3860 put and that creates a 20 point bullish put spread uh, and it expires today. And so what we want is for the market to close above 3880. On this trade, I believe we collected about 6.4 points of premium and each point is $50. So we're basically risking about 13 and a half points to make six and a half. Now, if the market rallies, then this is going to be a winning trade. And if the market trades sideways, it could also be a winner. And that's why we do these kind of trades. I think that's all for now. And again, I'll fast forward the video when I edit it and, um, and I'll go back and fast forward the video as it stands now. The day trade is also up another roughly thousand dollars and so noble and paladin have both seen these trades and we'll see how the day continues though so i'll go ahead and fast forward the video and edit edit it when the market closes so real quickly i'd, I'd like to do the risk disclosure uh, remember that trading features involve substantial risk of loss it's not appropriate for all investors remember also that past performance is not indicative of future performance and i'm not a cta i'm a third-party developer and i offer the algorithms to be traded under what's called a letter of direction all right with that out of the way i'll keep letting the video roll and let's see where we close hey everybody i wanted to give a quick uh, midday update i mean i guess it's more than that the market actually will close in about an hour now this, again, I'm speaking live right now. And so what that means is I have no idea where we're going to close, but I just wanted to highlight where this trade has taken us. So the, at the start of the video, I talked about how we'd gotten into this trade. And again, I didn't know it was going to happen, but you can see that the algorithm has definitely got it right so far. And we'll have to see where we actually close. The market could sell off. It could rally further. You just never know. But what I wanted to show you is that as the algorithm got in on this emerald state um, or on the emerald long day trade algo, it really was thinking that the market was either going to be in a strong uptrend or a weak uptrend. Um, when these lines close on the bottom, the, the red, the red dotted lines, when they when they stop moving and you get the forward slash, that means that the algorithm doesn't think that we're going to be in one of those states anymore. So after the market had been open uh, really only 20 minutes, the algorithm said, we're not gonna be in a strong down condition. And then about 40, uh, 40 minutes later, it said, we're not gonna be in a weak down either. It's, it's It was um, predicting that we were either gonna be in a strong up, which is the, the, the top green, or a weak up. And so it, it got in, it bought, uh, once, once it realized that it's gonna be one of those, so it bought. And then, um, and then it's held on to it, even though the market pulled back a bit, kind of midday, the market then began to rally again. And right now uh, we're actually close to hitting new highs again. This is a huge trade. I mean, we're up almost $3,000 as this shows per unit traded, and that's on Noble and also Paladin. 
So again, Noble trades uh, this algorithm plus the first two option trades that occur. And if we look over here, this was the options. And so again, I, I pointed out that we had gotten into the, the put vertical, that we sold the put vertical with 3880 being our short strike. And it looks like we will close above that. So assuming we do, then we'll keep all the premium collected, which was, I believe, about 6.4 points. And again, each point is $50. And so that's a gain of about $320 after you take out commission. It's about a $300 gain. So right now, if the market were to close, we'd be up about $3,000 on our day trade and about $300 on, on the option trade. Now, I'm a little surprised that the options didn't trigger more trades. A lot of times when we have a strong move that's, that's uh, trading higher, a lot of times we will get a handful of these option trades, but it's okay. Fortunately, the day trade captured uh, was able to get in, capturing a, a huge amount so far. So um, I think that's all I want to say, really. The, the only, I guess maybe the other thing is this, this chart over here represents the momentum ES or the bullfire, and it hasn't had a trade in a few weeks. Paladin is the only one that trades this one, as well as Phoenix as well, but that's, that's an older legacy algorithm. But so right now, what Paladin is trading is, um, is a total of 12 algorithms. It trades the momentum ES, this top left. It trades the day trade long, the bottom right. And then it also trades the Emerald Long and Emerald Short day trade, which is this chart here and the one that we're in now. And then it also trades op the options algo and it trades all eight strategies. And, and those are all represented on this chart. What Noble does is pretty much the same thing, only it doesn't have this guy. So it doesn't trade the Momentum ES and it only trades the first two option trades that occur. So it has a total of two options and then three day trade algos for a total of five uh, trading strategies that are traded within Noble. Noble requires only a $40,000 account size, um, so it trades in $40,000 units uh, to start with, and there's room for a drawdown built into that, where Paladin requires 60,000, and, and that's because it just trades more algorithms. But I'll go ahead and stop talking. I'll let the video keep recording. Again, I don't know where the market will close, but what I'll do is speed it up so that we can get to the end, and then I'll provide some final commentary. Okay, so we ended up closing the day really well. We ended up closing at 39.15. So it was a really strong day for us. We had uh, the, the options ended up being a 100% profit. So we kept all the premium we collected. After you factor in commission, that's about $306 per unit traded. The option, um, or I'm sorry, the, the futures trade was also pr uh, closed out really well at 39.15. And so the total gain on that was 50.25 points which ends up being $2,512. After you factor in commission, it's about $2,506. So the total gain was $2,812 on Noble and also Paladin. Noble trades 40,000 unit sizes, and so that was a 7.03% gain. And Paladin, $60,000 unit size, so it was a gain of about 4.68%. So it was a really good day. Uh, past performance is not indicative of future performance. And keep in mind that, again, I'm not a CTA. I'm a, I'm, I'm a third-party developer. We offer the algorithms to be traded under a letter of direction. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, one of us would love to talk to you and, and share more about the algorithms, answer any questions you have. But just remember, trading features uh, and options involve substantial risk of loss. It's not appropriate for all investors. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.